Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as it was promised and requested during my previous videos, I will be teaching you how to make yet another granny square and this time it's going to be strawberry granny square. I'm super happy about this creation. It turned out so cute and I'm very excited to actually teach you how to do it. And as always during this tutorial, I have made sure that I have explained every single stitch in as much detail as possible so even beginners are able to do that and also besides that I made sure that this pattern is very simple, very easy to make and doesn't require a lot of time for each square especially if you're creating some bigger creations but other than that if you feel like the speed of the video is too fast or too slow so just feel free to adjust it and I'm sure that it will solve if you have a problem like that. But yeah, let's jump into it and I will teach you how you can recreate this. So here I have all the materials that we are going to use. Here I have four different colors of yarn. Of course, you're welcome to use whatever colors you wish. It's just that they kind of have to match the way how strawberries look, but otherwise it's up to you. And the yarn that I'm using, it's uh, four ply cotton, and I will also make sure to leave the exact brand down below. And then, of course, we will also need some uh, crochet hook. I'm using 3.5 millimeter for this creation. I will also be using a darning needle, but if you don't want to use it, you can also just easily do everything with the crochet hook instead. And then, of course, we will also need some scissors. And here I already have some examples of what I have done before. So this is what we are going to try to replicate and what I'm going to teach you today. And in particular, we will be working with these colors. So at the end, our uh, strawberry granny square will look like this. But now let's get started. So first we will be starting with the red color. And the first thing that we have to do is to create a magic ring. So to do that uh, method that I'm using is that I just grab my yarn and hold it here uh, around my fingers and then kind of tie it around to establish an X shape here. And then just grab your crochet hook and go underneath the first uh, piece of yarn and then grab the second one like that to pull it all the way through to establish a loop on your hook. And then just chain one by pulling some yarn uh, through the loop that you had on the hook like that. And this will kind of establish uh, a ring shape and also a secure loop on your hook. So now we can proceed further. And the first step for us is to chain additional two. So we have three chains already there. And now the next step would be to do 12 double crochets right inside the magic ring. So if you're not familiar with double crochet, I'm just going to show you right away. So to do that, yarn over like this, then go through the ring and grab some yarn and pull it through to have three loops on your hook, then yarn over and pull it through the first two, yarn over and pull it through the last two. And that's our first uh, double crochet. And then just repeat the same thing and create 12 double crochets in total. So just to repeat, yarn over, go through the ring and pull some yarn and pull it through to have three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through first two and then the last two like that. And just repeat until you have 12 double crochets in total. Important thing to note about uh, the magic ring is that you have to keep uh, this piece of yarn hanging here at all times. So make sure that it doesn't get lost underneath the stitches. And if you don't have enough space, you can easily just pull it and the piece uh, here, the end of the yarn will become longer. So you have more kind of space to, to make sure that it's still hanging there. So now it's just left for me to do the last. Uh, double crochet and I have created all of them and of course we also have the chain of three that we did in the beginning but now the next step for us is to close the magic ring 
and to do that you basically just have to pull uh, this end of the yarn and as you're pulling it the ring closes and you have established a nice smooth shape and when that's done you just have to connect it and I will be connecting it here on top of the chain of three that we did. So to connect, we are going to use a slip stitch. So basically just go through the last chain here at the very top uh, through with your hook, then grab some yarn and pull it through. So now you have two loops on your hook and then pull the loop uh, through the existing loop that you already have. Um, and now the circle is connected and we have established a nice smooth shape. So now we can proceed further with uh, establishing a strawberry shape. And for the second round, we can start by chaining three. So one, two and three. And then the next step for us is to do a triple crochet. So for the triple crochet, it's going to be very similar as double crochet. It's just that in the beginning, you will be yarning over twice. So one and two. Then we are going into this first stitch that we have there, grabbing some yarn and pulling through. So now we have four loops on our hook, then yarning over and pulling through first two, then the second two, and then the last two, like that. So that's a triple crochet. Um, and now we can proceed further with the next uh, stitch that we have. And actually for the next one, we will be working in seven triple crochets into the same stitch. So yarning over twice, going through the stitch that we have there, grabbing some yarn and pulling through, then yarning over, pulling through two, yarning over, pulling through two, and yarning over and pulling through last two. And now we just have to create uh, six more into the same stitch. So yarning over twice and pulling through two, through two and through two. So that's already three. And now we just have to add four more. So in total there are seven. So just do that until you have created seven triple crochet stitches into one. So here I have created seven triple crochets into one stitch and now we can proceed further with the next step. And just here, keep in mind that since we have so many stitches already in, the, in this stitch, the next one might be hiding. So just make sure that you actually recognize what is what and which one is the following one. So in this following stitch, we will be doing one double crochet. So that's that. And then we can proceed further with the next stitch and in the next one we will be doing two double crochets into one stitch so that's one and then another one into the same space like that then for the following stitch we will again do two double crochets into one so that's one and here's another one like that and now we can move forward with the next one so for the next one we will first do one double crochet in there and then we will add two triple crochets into the same stitch so this is our first triple crochet and here i'm adding another one so that's two and now basically we have created half of the of the strawberry that we are going for. So now, and this last stitch is basically the middle of, uh, of it all. So now we just have to create like a reflection on the other side, kind of repeating everything that we did here. So now to continue, we will first start by doing one triple crochet into the next stitch. So this is one. And this uh, will be together with one double crochet into the same stitch, like this. Then we can move forward with the next stitch and then there we will be adding two double crochets into the same space, like that. And then the same thing also for the following stitch, uh, two double crochets into one, like that. 
and then into the following stitch we will be just working in one double crochet like this and now we have reached the this part basically so in the following space we have to add seven triple crochets into one space so the same way as before yarn over twice go through the loop to have four then yarn over pull through two pull through two and pull through two so that's already two so make sure to create seven in total so here i have created seven and now we can proceed with the next stitch which is the last one and in the last one we will be doing one triple crochet like this so now we have finished uh, basically the second round and we have established the shape of our strawberry so now we can just uh, really close uh, this round and we will be doing that by doing a slip stitch on top of the first stitch that we have here so we are skipping the chain of three that we did and going through the first stitch there grabbing some yarn and pulling it through and then pulling it through the loop that we had on our hook like this before proceeding further we can kind of do also like a sanity check so just make sure that this round is ended with the 32 stitches and just make sure to, to count them just to make sure that everything is correct but now as we can proceed further we basically just have to chain one and for this round we will be doing single crochets all the way through and this is also a good opportunity to actually count the stitches that you have so to do a single crochet it's very simple just go through the stitch grab some yarn pull it through to have two loops yarn over and pull through both and just repeat the same thing by going through all of the stitches also keep in mind to not make it too tight because uh, then it will be a little bit uh, trickier later on but otherwise it's very very simple and just do single crochets all the way through so now i have finalized uh, the third round and i have created single crochets all the way through if your edges look a little bit rounded don't worry about that it's just a part of the process and it will smoothen out later on uh, but yeah in total it was 32 single crochet stitches so just make sure everything was correct as it was supposed to be and now we can close uh, this round just by doing a slip stitch here uh, by connecting the first single crochet with the last one so the same as we did before and once that's done we are just going to chain one pull the loop a little bit longer then grabbing our scissors and cutting it off and as it is cut off we can also tighten it by pulling the piece of yarn a little bit and it will tighten it automatically so now we have finalized the strawberry shape and we can proceed further with the fourth uh, round so for the fourth round we will be establishing a square shape uh, for our granny square and to do that i will be using this white yarn so now our next step is to actually attach the yarn and to attach it and to actually start working on this round we will be turning our strawberry upside down so the tip kind of is facing upwards and then we can grab our yarn and first we will be establishing a slip knot and the way how i do it is i just pull the yarn around my fingers like this and then kind of grabbing it like that to create a loop and then we will be putting this loop uh, on our hook to kind of tighten it and now we can proceed uh, with adding this round so for this round uh, just remember that it has to be tip up and here we will be searching for the middle stitch uh, that we created before so the triple crochet where we created three uh, stitches into one if it's easier you also are more than welcome to kind of mark it beforehand so you can recognize which stitch it is but this is kind of our marker and we will be starting by working into one stitch before that so this is our stitch before the middle 
So we are going to start from here and then we will be attaching the yarn on top of that, which is this single crochet on top of it. And for this round, we will actually be working into the back loops only. So keep that in mind as well. So I will be just going through the back loop here and then grabbing the loop that I created before and putting it on on my hook. And as I have it, just pulling it through like this. And now we can also tighten the loop to make sure that it's tighter around our uh, crochet hook. And when that's done, I will be just chaining one like this and then we can start with our first stitches. So first we are going to do three single crochets, uh, one in each following stitch. So this is one, then going to the next one, also back loops, uh, two single crochets and three, like this. When that's done, in the next one we will be doing one half double crochet. So for that, yarn over, go through the back loop, grab some yarn and pull it through to have three loops on your hook, then yarn over and pull through all three of them, like this. And then in the following stitch, in the back loop, we have one double crochet, like that. And then we have actually reached uh, the first corner. So for the corner, we will be doing one double crochet together with one triple crochet into the same stitch. So here I have one double crochet and now just adding one triple crochet into the same. So like this. And when that's done, just chain three. One, two and three. So this is half of our corner. And now we can move to the next stitch to finalize this corner. So in the next stitch, we will be doing one triple crochet together with one double crochet. So this is our triple crochet and then double crochet. So now our corner is finalized and we can move forward with the next stitch. So in the next one, we are adding one double crochet like that. Then into the following one, we will be doing one half double crochet together with one single crochet. And then moving on to the next one, we are doing one single crochet only. And then in the following stitch, we are doing two single crochets into one like this. And then in the next one, we are doing one half double crochet like that. And then we have again reached our corner. So in this part, we will be doing one half double crochet together with one double crochet. Like that. And when that's done, we can chain three again. And then moving to the next bit, we will be doing two double crochets into one. So yarning over, and going through the back loop, so that's one, and then doing another one, like this. Then into the following stitch, we are just doing one double crochet, like that. So here is our double crochet, and at this point we have reached uh, this side of the strawberry. So for the next five uh, following stitches, we will be doing half double crochet into each of them. So yarning over, going through the stitch to have three, yarning over again and pulling through all three of them. So that's one. Then moving forward with the next one. So that's two. Then we are kind of skipping this bit uh, because that's like the slip stitch that we did before. We don't need stitches in there. So going in here and that's three, four, and five. So five half double crochets in total. And at this point, as you can see, we have again completed half uh, of the strawberry. So now we just kind of have to create reflection on the other side. So for the next stitch, we are going to do one double crochet into one. And then again, we have reached uh, the corner 
So in the corner part, we will be doing two double crochets together into one. So that's two. And then again, chaining three right away. And then moving on with the next part of the corner. So in the next, we will be doing one double crochet together with one half double crochet like this. And then moving on to the next stitch, we have one half double crochet alone. And then in the following stitch, we are doing two single crochets together in one like this. In the next stitch, right after that, we are doing just one single crochet alone in one. And then in the following, we have one single crochet together with one half double crochet like this. And then in the next stitch, we are doing one double crochet like that. And then again, we have reached the corner. So in the corner, we are doing one double crochet together with one triple crochet. Like that. And then right after that, chaining three again. And this is how we have created a uh, first half of the corner again. And then proceeding with the next bit of the corner or the final bit, we just have to do one triple crochet together with one double crochet. And just the double crochet like that. Now we have only two stitches left. And in the next one, we will be doing one double crochet. And then in the following stitch, one half double crochet like this. So now we have established kind of like the shape of the square. And now also the next uh, bit for us to is actually to close this uh, square so we can proceed with the next one. And to do that, we are just going through the first stitch, first single crochet that we did and doing a slip stitch. So going through, pulling yarn and pulling it through the loop on our hook like this. So now to add some more volume on our square, we will be just doing another round, which is our fifth round. And for this, we will be just doing double crochets all the way through. And this will just help us to build up the size of the square. And to start doing that, I will be just chaining two and then we can start doing double crochets. And yeah, we will be just starting with the first stitch, including the one that we already started from and starting to work double crochets into here. And from here on, we are using both loops. Um, so everything as we just did before, kind of. And just working one double crochet into every single stitch that we have here, like that. And the moment you reach the corner, in the corner bits here, uh, it will be a little bit different than we did before. So here we will be working two double crochets into the corner. So that's two. And when that's done, chaining three again, and then working another two into the same hole that we have. So that's one and another one like this. And when that's done, we can proceed with the next stitch and starting on with the other side. So just go all the way through until you have completed every single stitch and gone all the way through and I will meet you right back there. So here I have completed the whole fifth uh, round and now we can just connect it the same way as we did before by doing a slip stitch. So I'm just going through the first stitch that we have there and doing a slip stitch. And if you want, you're more than welcome to add or repeat the last fifth round to build up a volume to, to create it bigger, but it's totally up to you and I will be stopping here. So just chaining one and pulling the loop longer and then just cutting it off with my scissors. 
and tighten it like this. So this is how our strawberry granny square looks so far. And we will be proceeding further with the next bits, but just to measure it, at the moment it measures around nine centimeter by nine centimeter in width and length. Uh, if you want to convert it to inches, you will have to do it on your own because I'm not that familiar with inches. But yeah, uh, if you want to create bigger size, just add extra rounds of uh, the last round that we just did. And before I proceed further, just because I forgot, here uh, for your sanity check, you can count the stitches around. So during the fourth round, we had 44 stitches in total. So just make sure to check that. But now let's proceed with the leaves and the stem. And for that, I will be using this green color to kind of add it at the very top. So first, let me just grab this. And again, I will be starting by doing a slip knot like this. And then we can proceed further. So for the leaves, we will be starting uh, one stitch or one front loop before the corner and going in until up until this part. So basically in total it's seven stitches that we will be using for this. So I'm just going through here and then pulling the loop that I just created on my hook and tightening it and then just pulling it through like this. You can also fold your square so it's easier to work in here. But basically here we will be doing slip stitch and we will be starting by chaining one and then working back again into the same stitch here. So doing slip stitch from now on and pulling the loop and pulling it through the loop that we had and proceeding with the next one. So we are doing this now for uh, four times in total. So that's two, three, and here I believe I have to skip one here. So doing the fourth one here. So that's our middle. And here we actually have to create the stem. So for the stem, we are going to chain uh, five. One, two, three, four, and five. And now we are going to work a uh, slip stitch back. So we just have to skip the last one and then going through the stitch before that and pulling it through. So just working it backwards like this. Right until we reach the where we started. And then just doing another slip stitch in here. So that was four. And now we just have to add three more. Five six and seven like this so this is uh, how it's going to look like where we are adding all the leaves and everything so now we can proceed with doing that and to do that uh, i'm going to start by chaining uh, six so one two three four five and six and when that's done, I'm kind of turning my work and doing a slip stitch back into the first from this side that we did and pulling it through the loop that we have on our hook. It might be tricky, so just feel free to turn your work in whatever way it's easier. And when that's done, that's our first leave, basically like this. And when you have created that, then just again chain six, one, two, three, four, five, and six, like that. And then we are just going to connect it by doing a slip stitch again here into the next one. Just going through and doing a slip stitch like that. And once that's done, we can already proceed with the next. So we are moving right away to the next one and going through to kind of attach it and doing a slip stitch there to attach it like this. And then again, chaining six. One, two, three, four, 
five, six. And again, doing slip stitch right at the same, like that. And then moving forward with the next one, first attaching it by doing a slip stitch and again chaining six and connecting the leaf. So just do it all the way through until you have added every leaf on every single slip stitch that we created in the beginning. And here I have done the last chains for the last leaf. So I'm just going to connect it here with the very beginning here. So just doing a slip stitch uh, here and connecting the final piece there like that. And then just to make sure that it's kind of connected smoothly, I'm going to do another one and going through and then chaining one. And again, pulling it through and making the loop looser. This time I'm making it longer just because at this point it will also be kind of necessary to hide some of the red bits that we have. So just tightening it here to make it make sure that it's tight and secure. And this is basically our stem and the green bits. And as you can see here, the red is still sticking out a little bit. So if you wish, you're more than welcome to hide it by using, uh, using this piece of yarn that we just, uh, just cut off. And you can either use uh, your crochet hook or darning needle. So it's totally up to you, whatever method works for you the best. And basically the aim of all of this is to kind of hide this part. But if you feel like it's not bothering you, you're more than welcome to skip it and you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Uh, but I just kind of want to make sure that it's pretty and no one's complaining that something is visible too much or that it could be improved. So just basically use your darning needle and hide any red yarn that you have. So here I have hid all the red bits as best as I could and I'm quite happy with that. And also these leaves and stem look super cute. So now we can proceed with the next step and for the next we will be adding in some strawberry seeds and for that I will be using this uh, pink color. And to do that I have already prepared my darning needle so uh, you're more than welcome to use this or if you wish you can also use your crochet hook so to do that the process will be very simple and it's also quite random so i will basically be using my needle to go through like random points within my strawberry to create these seeds and just leaving some yarn on the other side and then just going through quite randomly wherever possible and creating like small bits that will later on look like seeds and feel free to do this in whatever way works for you the best and leave some of them here and there i think smaller the better and just go all the way through uh, throughout your strawberry to create some of them here and there and there and there wherever you wish so here I have added in all the strawberry seeds and this is how our final product looks like. And in my opinion, it's super cute and I really hope that it's going to be helpful for you as well and that you will enjoy this tutorial as well. But yeah, feel free to create multiple of them so you can create some amazing crochet creations. Feel free to just connect them to create some nice products or clothing items such as scarves, cardigans, tops or whatever you wish or even a tote bag. It's totally up to you and just let your imagination flow and I would be super happy to see your creations as well but I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial as well. So that was basically it from me today and I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that this tutorial is going to be useful for you and of course you are more than welcome to adjust the colors of your strawberry and to create it in multiple different colors as long as it makes sense for it to be a strawberry so it's totally up to you and other than that if you did enjoy this video 
please give me big thumbs up and if you're new to my channel please subscribe and i hope to see you later bye